Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So today, before I show you one of my antique Bing clockwork mechanical dachshund dogs, I wanted to show you a little about the history of Gerberta Bing, which was an amazing toy maker. And uh, they're no longer in business, sadly. I believe there's a revival of the company right now, um, but it's still not the same company. So nonetheless, here are some of the logos of Gerberta Bing. And let me begin by telling you the history. So it was uh, from the 1860s to 1933. The German toy maker Bing of Nuremberg, Germany, founded by Ignaz and Adolf Bing and started making toys in Nuremberg in the early 1860s, officially incorporating as, incorporating as a manufacturer in 1895. The company grew rapidly between 1895 and 1914 and in leading up to World War I, the firm employed over 5,000 people. Now, that's a lot of people to employ. This was a major, major company. The company initially went under the name Gerbruda Bing, which means Bing Brothers, and by the initials GBN for Gerbruda Bing Nuremberg. And after the death of Ignaz, as a, at around the end of World War I, switched to the name Bing Work. And in German, work means works. Bing was staggeringly prolific toy maker, and by 1928, it was one of Germany's leading toy manufacturers with annual sales of around 27 million Deutschmarks that year. However, the trade depression that resulted in the Wall Street crash proved to be disastrous for Bing, and many of the firm's assets were taken over by Carl Bubb, a rival manufacturer. Oh my God, that guy is such a villain. So uh, here are some of the logos. This was a tin logo that they had, which was a little plaque that was affixed to the toy. Here's one of the ads for a train, and that was from 1902. He has more trains. This was, I, be I believe, from the 30s. Here's another Bing train advertisement. And here's more. They uh, had made ocean liners, ships, trains, toy cars, engines, teddy bears, stuffed animals. I mean, they were absolutely phenomenal and prolific, like it said in the article. He has a toy motor car made out of tin. And a lot of these toys were clockwork. It, it was amazing, the me mechanics behind some of these toys. There's one of their logos. And so they made ro model railroads, and I mean railways, the teddy bears. The teddy bears are the exciting part for me since I collect teddy bears. And so they were a direct competitor of Stife. And so it was pretty much, they were neck and neck. And uh, really, uh, I, I really think the Bing Bear is way better than Stife. But nonetheless, I, I could never add one of these to my collection. It's way too expensive. Those bears can sell for thousands upon thousands of dollars. So I'll show you some of the Bing toys right now in Google Images. And right now my, uh, my mobile phone is hiccuping. Okay, here we go. See, so here's some of the engines. This is a, a actual ma a magic lantern. I thought that was an engine. There's a toy car made out of tin. It's a racing car. There's a diver with the original box, another motor car, another beautiful clockwork toy car, and one on the left. This looks like a antique engine on the right. Here's more engines, a beautiful bear on wheels, another engine, a toy camel on wheels, which was a pull, a pull toy of the time. Tin car, there's one of their logos. A toy submarine. Wow, look at that beautiful white bear. I'd love that. Sadly, I could never afford one of those. There's a triple trapple. So that dachshund you see on the left was a pull toy and it had wheels in the bottom of the paws and the legs would putter forward as you pulled the dog across the floor. Those are very rare. I've, I've seen one actually on eBay last week that was sold and it had the original tags on it. I sadly I couldn't bid on that. It was it went way too high. There's another Bing Bear. A Bing train station piece that went with one of their railways. That's a giant engine. 
Look at the teddy bears. That mailbox is pretty cool. A replica mailbox that was made for children to play with. That is just amazing. There's a teddy bear over there made by Bing. Some of their railway cars. A miner. An elephant on wheels that was a pull toy. There's some more engines. A toy submarine. A steam traction engine. That ship is just absolutely, oh my goodness, that is wow. Just wow. It looks like sort of like the Titanic. Some to some other toy cars, a, a Bing Bear. So it's sad that this company just like went out of business like that. It breaks my heart. But nonetheless, just to find one of these toys is very, very hard. Um, they're very rare to come across, especially in good condition. You don't see that very often. And so the little dachshund that I'm going to show you right now is very similar to the Bing Triple Trapple dachshund that you see here on the left. And I believe mine was made between 1908 and 1912. So stay tuned, and I'm going to get it and show it to you. So here's my Gerbruda Bing toy, and it's an early, early dachshund. This one was probably made between 1908 and 1912. And it's a mechanical dachshund made out of some kind of felt, as you can see here. And let me show you his features. So he has shoe button eyes, and he has a little stitch nose, and his original collar with bell. And he's really quite well made, as you can see here. He has his original Gerbruda Bing button that's made out of metal, and that's uh, one of their logos that they used. And it has a little tin wind-up ball with wheels, he has wheels on the bottom, and that when you wound this little ball up, he would propel forward. And so the ball would spin, and the little wheels on the bottom would enable him to propel himself across the floor. Now, sadly, this is not working. And there's a seam on this little ball that if somebody who knew how to restore old clockwork toys or clocks could take this apart, they could probably just replace the little spring mechanism that's in there, and this thing would work as good as new. And so I haven't found anybody that can do that for me yet. Uh, where I live on Long Island, there's really no old clockwork restorationists. I haven't found anybody. There are people that advertise this service on the internet, but you'd have to mail your item and ship it to them. And I just don't want to send something this rare and this old in the mail. I'd be afraid, how do I know... If it wouldn't be a scam, what if the person never mailed it back to me? So that's uh, too risky for me, in my opinion. So this really, really old dog is just quite, quite amazing. It fits in the palm of my hand, as you can see. And this is actually from when the first teddy bears were being made. This little guy was made alongside them. And as you can see, it's really quite amazing to have something that's over 100 years old in your hand. I find that fascinating, and especially I'm a big fan of Bing. I think they were one of the most amazing, amazing toy makers. And so having this is like having the holy gra uh, grail in your hand, although I would like one of those teddy bears. And I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon because those old teddy bears are quite expensive. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and thanks for watching my channel and if you're kind enough I'd appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up.